A coalition of 45 civil society and community-based organizations spread across the country have requested the intervention of the United Nations Security Council, the government of the United States, Britain and Germany, on the threat to regional security and proliferation of arms in Nigeria. The Civil Society Coalition for Mandate Protection, who announced this on Tuesday while presenting a request letter to the embassies of the members of the G8 in Nigeria, wants the countries to impress on the President of Nigeria to terminate the award of oil pipeline protection contract to any militant. The group led by General Secretary Kupo Lajai called on the country's representatives in Nigeria to influence the Organization of Petroleum Production Countries, OPEC, to isolate Nigeria. It alleges that the country continues to give such contracts to individuals associated with the importation and distribution of illicit arms in Nigeria. The group also demanded that the international community ensures that henceforth no pipeline contract is given to individuals linked to banditry, kidnapping and violence in the Niger Delta. I'm here to draw the attention of the international community to the, the characters and the type of people being, given, being awarded um, the, uh, the contract, you know, to protect pipelines, you know, um, in Nigeria. So presently, we have a situation where ex-bandits, ex-militants, are given this contract, and these are people, uh, one time or the other, wage war, you know, against the Nigerian state. These are people who have destroyed even the 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 the, the, the uh, oil um, infrastructure you know, within their area. So, but again, we are saying that, okay, the pipeline crisscross everywhere. And one point we are saying that those in the southwest, the Yoruba land, you know, must be protected by those who know the terrain, those who understand the language, those who own the land. 